I don't usually do these, but today I'm going to review this product. It's the Joico Color Balance Blue. And the reason I'm using it is if you're a brunette who's trying to go gray, naturally gray, sometimes your brown dyed bits start fading and they become brassy. I don't know if you can see it too well here. I'll try to get some more light, but see how they're very orangey red and not dark at all. And so I kind of would like the gray to blend in more uh, and not stand out so much against the brassy red part. So I started using this product once a week uh, on the recommendation of somebody I met on Instagram. And she said that you should put it on dry hair first. So I put it on dry hair for five minutes and then I'm going to uh, go into the shower, add a little more, and mix it all together and rinse it out, and then uh, we'll see what happens. So I've used it on dry hair before and it works. When I've used it on just wet hair, it didn't really seem to make a difference. So I just wanted to show it to people who've asked me about it. Okay, thanks. So you just mix it. I put a fairly decent, it takes a lot actually to to put it on your dry hair, obviously a little more than you would on wet. but. Um, so you just start mixing it in. You, you can put it all over. The silver parts, it will supposedly um, brighten the silvers. And for the other parts, it will reduce the red and orange tones that happen to faded, uh, faded dyed hair. And what's nice is obviously you don't have to be somebody who's transitioning to gray. It could also just be if you have dyed brown hair and, you know, at the end of a month or so, your hair starts getting kind of orangey red on the ends especially. So anyway, I'm going to keep doing this, and I'll <laughs> come back in uh, five minutes. Okay, it hasn't been five minutes, actually. I just came back to show you this will happen to your hands while you're using this. Don't worry, it comes right off in the shower. However, um, it does leave little droplets on my bedspread, which I kind of forgot about, but I'm assuming those will come out in the wash as well. And um, I did have to use quite a bit because, let's be honest, trying to get it on dry hair is a lot more difficult than putting it on wet hair. You have to use more. So I'm just adding a little more to the ends. Okay. And then I'm going to set a timer for five minutes, get in the shower, and I'll show you the results. Okay, I'm out of the shower. I dried my hair. As you can see, it's a little darker on the brassy orange bits. And I think the silvers are shinier, which is what's supposed to happen. Um, obviously, it's not perfect. I'd have to dye my hair to do that, and I'm not willing to do that anymore. But um, anyway, I really like it. So what I do is, I, like I said earlier, I put uh, the Joico Blue Shampoo in my dry hair, let it sit for five minutes. Some people suggest ten. Then I get into the shower, add a little more, get it wet, scrub it, and rinse it out. And the Joico uh, Blue Shampoo can leave my hair feeling a little dry. So I bought the Joico K-Pack conditioner, and I leave that in for about five minutes. Uh, and anyway, I think it turned out nice. Um, the only thing I was going to mention was I don't get paid for this from Joico. Um, it's just something I'm doing as a service to other gray-haired women or women who get brassy ends because um, I don't like it. So it's fun to see that there's a product on the market that actually works. Some people use other ones, but this is the one that was recommended to me, and I'm really happy with it. So anyway, if you want to learn more about transitioning to gray hair or dealing with dark brunette hair or any kind of hair that's transitioning to gray, you can go to my website at katiegoesplatinum.com. Thanks for watching. P.S. I forgot to mention something important, which is if you use the Joico Blue Shampoo too much, it can give you that blue hair look that little uh, ladies, little old ladies used to use when I was a kid in the 70s. So um, I recommend only using it once a week. Uh, maybe other people have better luck with that, but my hair absorbs color actually pretty badly, but I'm still afraid that it will turn blue. So anyway, you might want to consider just using it once a week. Thanks.